Angie's List, Craigslist, Better Business Bureau, Google Reviews. What's the best way to vet a solar installer in your area? I'm going to be answering that question specifically in this video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with home solar power and renewable energy systems, uh, energy storage systems, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Uh, you'll find product reviews and comparisons, as well as educational videos really geared towards helping homeowners that are in the process of evaluating solar options to work their way through that process successfully. Now in today's video, we're going to be answering the question, how do we at Solar Surge vet our solar installation contractors or our installation partners? Now, as many of you know, Solar Surge, you know, we're not just a YouTube channel here. We also work with a number of the top solar installers across the country, including some of the biggest solar states like Arizona, California, Florida, and Texas. And so what I wanted to do in today's video was explain a little bit to you all um, how we at Solar Surge go about vetting and evaluating our contractors. Uh, solar Surge is, is what's known in the industry as an independent dealer which means that our portion of the solar process is mainly on the marketing sales and system design side. So you can kind of think of us as the system architects. We, we put all the designs, the plans together. Uh, and then we partner with contractors in different local markets that actually have the physical assets, the boots on the ground, the trucks, the warehouses, and the construction equipment to actually turn those plans into a physical system functioning on your home. And so what I wanted to share with you all in this video is the process that we go through to vet our installers and really what we're looking for uh, as an independent partner um, when we're looking for a company that we should partner with. Now, one of the first things that you probably look at if you're a homeowner out there uh, is the online reviews. You know, of course, in today's world, that's pretty much the first place everybody will go to. If you're looking at a company, go online and search the Google reviews. And so that's certainly something that we do as well. However, looking at the online re reviews alone can be a little bit misleading. Um, one reason is because many solar contractors have figured out a way to game the system. Uh, there's one solar installer that was, was up until recently one of the largest nationwide installers. They recently went bankrupt. But one of the tactics that they used is they would give all of their sales representatives uh, prepaid Visa gift cards. And so whenever they would meet with a homeowner, whether the homeowner would purchase, purchase the solar or not, they would basically offer to give them a prepaid gift card if they were to go on and leave a favorable review on Google. So what you might have, you might have 80-90% of the reviews online that are these glowing five-star reviews. They, they may not even be real customers. It may just be somebody who exchanged positive review for some kind of a gift card or other consideration. So that's one thing to be aware of is that, is that there, there are tactics, there are uh, systems that companies employ to, to game the online review system. Now, the other deficiency though with just looking at the online reviews is it doesn't really tell you anything about the long-term bankability uh, of that company. Now, if you're in the process of shopping for solar, then you probably already know that most tier one solar installers are going to offer a 25-year warranty that covers your solar panels, your inverter or your micro inverters, uh, as well as any labor necessary to keep all that equipment online and functioning. But of course, the warranty is only as good as the company that issues it. And so if your installation company is not profitable, the chances are three, four, five years from now, they're, they're just not going to be around. If they, can't, if they can't correct the ship and turn things around in time, uh, chances are that company is going to go out of business and you never hear from them again. And so if you're a homeowner that got an installation from that company and that company is no longer in business, Despite the fact that you may have a manufacturer's warranty for 20 or 25 years, if there's nobody physically there to service that warranty, it's not really going to leave you in a very, very good spot as a homeowner. So that's part of why we at Solar Surge, when we look for a partner, we're looking not only for excellent customer reviews, but we're also looking for strong financial statements. 
Now, I, I know it's not a common thing to, you know, you talk to a contractor and you ask them to see, see your financial statement, but this is an important question. Is, is your business profitable now? And how confident am I that your business is going to be profitable into the future? And by the way, I want the installer to be profitable. So I'm not necessarily looking for the installer that's just going to offer me the cheapest price. Uh, as a sales partner, what I'm looking for is the partner that I know is going to offer an excellent customer experience that's going to communicate well, because that's key, especially when you get into complex designs, making sure that I have a, uh, an installer that's responsive and it's going to communicate well, but also one that is financially strong, which means the company should be making a profit. Uh, and it shouldn't be a slight profit. It should be a healthy profit of at least 5% because a lot of that profit ends up being cash reserves that pay for warranty service down the road, whether it's five, 10, 15 years down the road. If something comes up on that system, you wanna make sure that the contractor is liquid enough that they can maneuver and they can devote resources immediately to fix your warranty issue if it comes up. So this is part of what we look for as well. You know, in my experience, guys, I can tell you in the time I've been doing this now, about 10 years, um, what I've seen is some of the best solar installation companies uh, are companies that had a successful construction business at some point uh, before they ever got into solar. So I see oftentimes it's a, a custom home builder or maybe a home remodeling contractor uh, or maybe even an electrician who has a generator installation business. Uh, but basically an established business that already has experience managing construction crews, managing construction vehicles, managing the construction, the permitting, the inspection process, and, and being able to do all that profitably. Um, from what I've seen, companies that have that maturity and that experience that they can manage that type of operation profitably, when they get into solar, uh, they tend to be much, much more successful on the business side than companies that just start up from scratch and they just start as a brand new solar company. So folks, this has been a video about how Solar Surge vets its installation partners. It may give you some insight if you're a homeowner out there now comparing bids from different contractors and trying to evaluate which is the best one to partner with. I would just say, remember that this is the beginning of a 25 year relationship. And so although you might be enticed by what looks like a very attractive or a very cheap price on day one, you really wanna take a step back and ask yourself, is this the best company for me to partner with is this really the best company for me to be engaged with for the next 25 years? And, and what is my confidence level, not only in the proposal that they're giving me today, but how confident am I in their ability to perform uh, under their, their obligations under this warranty for the next 25 years? Well, folks, as always, I appreciate you taking time to look at Solar Surge today. Uh, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish here, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Right now we're trying to get at least two to three of these type of videos out for you guys every week. Uh, of course, if you are in the process of evaluating solar power options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe if you already have a price quote and you want to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting a good deal or to make sure that you're working with a bona fide installation partner, a bankable long-term partner, um, as always, feel free to, to reach out to us at the link below there. You'll set up a quick Zoom call with one of our team members here, and we can just chat through what your goals are and provide some options, some options and some pricing for you. Well, folks, thanks again for taking some time to tune in to Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.